Notion is one of the most expensive planner apps using your calendar with tasks and projects and AI automation to schedule your day. So what I wanted to do is have a look at Motion and compare it to my current calendar app of choice, Morgan, and compare the two. You can see Motion is billed at $19 per month. And then for a team, it's $12 a month. And I'm currently on the team free trial. Whereas Morgan, at the time of recording this video, the most expensive is $7.25 per month, billed yearly, which as you can see is about $9. But that's $3 a month cheaper on a team plan, but then $10 a month cheaper on the individual plan. My question? Is the money worth it? I'm using the Windows Motion app because the main time I use my calendar is on my computer and I use global hotkeys. Going into the settings tab, going down to desktop app, you can see open calendar is alt C and that takes me to the calendar view. At the moment when I use it, it brings up Morgan because that's what I do like all the time. But as you can see the immediate difference, Morgan actually comes up in the side panel, so in a sidebar or in a full view, whereas motion just is the full view. That's all you get. No, Morgan doesn't have a browser app, but I use hotkeys all of the time to navigate my calendar and inside of this desktop app, I can click the day view, I can click the week view. From what I can see, there isn't a month view. And when I click into the desktop app, there's only these four hotkeys. So when I'm in the calendar, I can't use the arrow keys to move backwards and forwards in days. I can't use the W or D or today to jump around the calendar at all. So as a user experience, this is really mouse only. So to browse around, you can use the mini calendar and go to whatever time you want to, but it's very hard to see a month at a glance, which I do in Morgan, Alt C, let's just push three, calendar set to change that, and then drag that. You can see I'm now in my month and I'm only showing certain events because I don't want all my events and tasks showing and I can go forwards or backwards. So I'm just gonna go back to the day and close that down. So I can quickly do that with Morgan, which I can't do in motion. That's just a, a usability or user friendly experience that I like, which motion doesn't seem to have. And when we get into the actual calendar view, if I click on one of these events, it appears in the left sidebar, which is great. It's fine. You can see it's, it's changing them all and I can change the color just like I can in Morgan, but I'm limited to just this color palette. I can't change it to any other color unlike Morgan. Morgan, you can customize it to any color. And then if you want to change something in the event, you can't just click on the event and edit it. You have to click on the event and then click the edit pencil to then edit the event. And to go to more options, you have to click more options. So if I want to add a description to an event, say, let's say I'm adding a description to, let's say this Discord event, I want to add something in the agenda, I have to come into there, click into there, then click the description. That's like three, four clicks. And it's it's just the small things that are mildly irritating. Having a look down this tasks tab inside of Motion, these tasks are specific to Motion. You can show them on your Google Calendar if you want to, or you can keep them off. I personally show them just like in Morgan. But this is the main power, as it were, of Motion. You can auto schedule these tasks. You can ask Motion to do it for you, which sounds nice, but I personally like control. So I'm going into this with a bias against Motion, unfortunately. And you can see at the moment, it's not scheduling any of these because there's no room on my calendar. So all of these events are already in here. And um, all these events are already in here. And these tasks can't be scheduled, which is why they're still in the sidebar. Hence the could not fit task message. And this message at the top is where I have a task that's been scheduled after the soft deadlines. You can see we've got some tasks in here. These are gray tasks. They are motion specific tasks. Everything else is an event from my calendar. So if I click into first task, we get the task window. And this task is in my projects, which I'll go through later on. But we get the description, which is just like any other event. You can type words in, which is great. You can add a link again. Great. Just like any other Google Calendar event. You can add comments for your team members. I'm not sure why I would want to add a comment inside of an event or a task unless I'm using this as my project manager, which I'll go into more depth when we get to the projects, but I don't see a use for this for me anyway. So the most important part for me is this section, what I can do with the metadata or properties of the task. At the moment, it is auto scheduled, so I can't actually manually change anything. If I try and drag this anywhere, what it's going to do is going to, it's going to give me a warning. And basically this is saying, if you move it, it turns into a fixed time task. So motion won't be able to automatically reschedule it. So if you want tasks to be auto scheduled by AI or whatever algorithm it's using, then you can't manually click and drag it around, which to me is 
I mean, it's understandable, but it's limiting. I like to be able to move and drag things. Having said that, some tasks are flexible, and that's where I would use this auto scheduling. So, what does it do? Well, the status auto scheduled, or it can be backlog not started or completed. So, have you done it or not? And is it in a backlog? So, that's basically just a tick box, which you can do from the calendar. I prefer an actual tick box rather than this sort of like tick it off, let's show completed task, uh, and then tick it back on. See, it's auto scheduled these tasks to move backwards in time because it now thinks it can just shove them backwards. Can I, can I not say I've not completed it? Come on. I'm not faffing around with that. I'm just going to go on to something else. After the status, we have assignee, and this is where you can assign a task to someone in your team. So a team member has to be inside of motion to assign it to them. At the moment, Morgan is individually focused, so I wouldn't assign a task. I would just assign an event to another person, and then they do it in their own time. But that's how I work with Morgan in the team, which I'll go through later on. Priority, which is pretty standard. You've got the high, medium, and low. ASAP is only really specific to the algorithm, so automated tasks. If it's not an automated task, the ASAP and the priority stuff is just like any other planning, task management, project management, calendar management application. The task duration, again, is on like every task management application. You can assign any sort of time to it. What I would say, though, is this, again, is specific to the automated algorithm. If I come into the calendar and I want to add a task, say I want to add a task in here, I will come over to the side. At the moment, it's an, an event. I can change it to a task. Now, because I created it, it's locked, but I can auto schedule the task by ticking that on. You can see now it's going to auto schedule the task and the duration is going to tell it where it can be put inside of my calendar. Alternatively, you can use control space or you're meant to be able to use control space, but for whatever reason, it doesn't work for me. So I'm just going to push the button. Uh, and it brings up this command bar type thing, but you need to have motion open for this to work. It's not a global hotkey. And after clicking the drop down, you can see we can auto schedule the task, which it has nicely put inside of the adding a new task. But as you can see, it's now, it's now giving me an issue, which is where this auto scheduling is really irritating because it's auto scheduled the task. But it's now given me an issue once I've scheduled it. So I might as well have just added it in the first place myself. But with this issue, I can do it earlier. I can change the deadline or I can add it to the backlog. And if I click on the edit, it brings me back to this window. You can see here's the deadline. If the deadline is tomorrow, which in this case, if I exit out of this, the deadline is the 10th tomorrow and it's being done on the 14th. That's why it's saying, hey, there's an issue here. So I need to change the deadline to a later date and say, OK, it's due on the 20th and now it's OK. But because there was no space, it automatically put it in a place that didn't match, which to me means you have to add the start date, add a deadline that makes sense, add in the schedule hours of the task that you're putting in for the algorithm to do what you want to do. And for me, I'm going to do that anyway when I add a task in. But that's just me and if we come in you can see we can add a recurring task or use templates now if we go into the templates i don't have any templates for tasks because i don't see the point most tasks are going to be quick and easy unless they are recurring that's for me anyway so i'm going to click on recurring tasks and now you can see it's going to be daily i can click on the daily and it gives you all the recurring options you would expect to see inside of a calendar task management app with your custom options your starting today your priorities and everything else that you would expect to see on a task However, there are labels on tasks, which at the moment in Morgan is not available on tasks. You can have them in events and you can treat these labels just like tags for searching, essentially. And of course, because my uh, calendar is time blocked, <laughs> it couldn't find a spot for anything. So <laughs> it's just sitting over there, which means every time I add a new task, it's just going to sit here because it can't auto schedule anything because I time block, which kind of defeats the point. But anyway... Moving over to the calendar section, you can see all of the calendars I have here. This is just my Google Calendar that I've added. You can add other accounts. As you can see, you can only add a Google account or a Microsoft account. You can't add a CalDAV or anything like that, which Morgan, you can. And inside of Motion, it doesn't give me the option to change or rename any of the calendars. So I'm going to have to blur out all of these email addresses. Whereas in Morgan, I can rename them to anything I want inside of the app. Moving over to the projects and tasks, which I think is the main benefit, apart from the automated algorithm that it uses, the main benefit it brings to calendar and task management. However, when you look at a project, all it really is, is a main task. It's a place where you can add loads of notes, which you can do in any word processor linked to tasks, which you don't need a note on unless you need to add loads of comments. But for me, that would be done in Discord. Maybe that's done in Slack or it could be done in your project manager. I 
pick up or Asana or for me I just do it inside of Discord because I'm speaking with a couple of team members that's it uh, so all the project is is just a place to put notes and having all the tasks underneath the project could just be the same as a parent task in Todoist or any other task manager even Morgan in that case I've already mentioned the status of auto scheduling things so there's there's nothing really new inside of all of these tasks but it's nice to be able to auto schedule them if you want an app to auto schedule however you do have the assignee option if the people are using motion looking up to the top of this view you can see we can add a task add a project or we can change templates and this is where i was experimenting with templates because there's a project template which is nice and when you edit you can add tasks to a template which is a nice option which again can be done in like every project manager so this doesn't hit the project manager app bar for me but it doesn't hit the calendar app bar for me either there isn't the easy hotkeys to navigate the calendar app. I can't drag and drop tasks or events from all day to the day or from the day to all day and dragging it from the sidebar, there, will, there isn't really an option because it's all sort of automated. You can't sort of have just a list of tasks to the side that are unscheduled. Well, you can, but it, it's, it's all cluttered for me. Yes, there are booking links for a create one-time schedule link in Morgan. That's an open invite, but that's free in Morgan. Motion, uh, again, reminder, <laughs> it's paid. It's like twice the price. A booking page is great, but Calendly is like half the price, and you can do all of this in Calendly. And coming into the settings, breezing this through very quickly, you've got your calendars, which is great. The default view, there's only Monday and Sunday. That's it. There's no other days. Uh, and there's the uh, themes that you would expect to see. Conference settings, you have Zoom, you have Google Meets, Microsoft Teams, um, which... Again, it's, it's available on Google Calendar, so why are you paying so much for something Google Calendar does? Time zones, the same thing. Schedules, the same thing. Notifications, the same thing. Desktop app, we've already gone through this, and you can launch it on startup, but again, Google Calendar can do that. There is a mobile app, which I haven't tested, so I can't comment on that one. When it comes to integrations, there's Zapier. That's it. So if you want to use Todoist or TickTick or another task manager or a project manager or something else, you, you can't. It's just Zapier. Morgan has links to, to Todoist and you do, it's like a quarter of the price. It's oh, crazy. The API calls are interesting, but again, I'm not sure what you would need the API calls for if Motion is expecting to do all of the integrations itself and the integration is just Zapier. I'm, I'm lost on that one, so Motion users maybe let me know. The booking page experience is a little bit confusing why there is, I, I mean, I would class this as code, whether you call it a syntax or whatever. I mean, you've got dollar signs inside of this, which to me seems like off finished, which seems odd for the price that Motion is. Auto scheduling, which I've gone through, and then workspaces, which is just private projects or different team projects, which is great for teams. But if you're an individual or a, a small team like myself with two or three co-workers, I don't understand what Motion gives that Notion and Google Calendar wouldn't. And both of those are free tools. So from my brief and biased experience of Motion, it is a great app. It does what it says it's meant to do, but is overpriced. That's my overview, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.